Hello everyone. Well, <laughs> let's try that again. Hello everyone. That's better. How is everybody? It's happy Sunday and I hope you've enjoyed your weekend and you have a nice relaxing day. Um, I know I have and I'm just kind of relaxed here and decided I would um, wanted to jump on and do a Dollar Tree craft. So I always love to do the Dollar Tree crafts in between my wreaths and so um, today that's what we're going to do. So here's what we're going to be using. Um, Dollar Tree, uh, just a natural uh, wreath form out of, it's like a straw, okay, and I painted it. Don't have any reason why I painted it. It's green here and tan here, just a natural tan. And it's gonna be kind of a natural wreath, so that's why I did it. And I have um, a couple of birdhouses, which I'm only gonna use one, but they're, they're both come from the Dollar Tree. And um, they have some really pretty spring flowers out. So I have a spring flower and some uh, greenery that I came from the Dollar Tree. Some moss, some green moss. Um, I have my Chanel stems, paint brushes, and uh, various paints and Mod Podge. And with that, I have a napkin, just a spring napkin. So um, we are gonna get started, all right? My phone is not charged very much, so I've got it plugged in, and I, I hope that um, that works. So we'll see, and I've got my glue gun, of course. Everybody, you should, you should plug up your glue gun whether you're gonna use it or not because invariably you're gonna use it, okay? So I think the first thing we're gonna do is just we're gonna start by painting the birdhouses. No rhyme or reason on how to paint them, but um, I did get some acrylic paint, multi-surface multi satin. Try that one, one word. And um, I'm just gonna just take my little paintbrush here and just start painting. I'm not gonna paint the top yet. I'm gonna paint the bottom just to have a, a little color for the top and for the for the body of the bot, birdhouse. I can't talk today. Did y'all notice that? Okay. I can't think either, y'all. I was trying to think of somebody's name a while ago. Somebody in our family. <laughs> and I was like, you know, so-and-so's wife. Oh yeah, well. We won't say any more about that. But that just means that my brain is not working correctly. Well, after brain surgery, that's what happens. So I have to learn how to live with that. All right, can y'all see real well? Do I need to adjust you just a little bit? Okay, that's, that's a little better. Um, all right, so this is just a, a white, and I'm just gonna give it a base coat of white. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, like we don't have to stand the lines or anything. Okay. I'm just going to let that dry for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and paint this one too. Um, I'm not, like I said, I don't, not for sure which one I'm going to use yet. I love this little one with a heart in it. And it's got the little um, pedestal for the bird to stand on, like a little, um, I guess you could say like a little hummingbird could stand on it and um, who doesn't love hummingbirds especially this time of year and many of y'all have your hummingbird feeders out and do y'all have them still out from last year because that's a big no-no you still have your hummingbird feeders out you need to get them and clean them out because that will make the hummingbird sick from having that old soured water from last year sometimes I'm guilty of that so that's why I'm saying it okay all right, so here we go. I'm gonna paint this side. All right, and you can paint it any color you want. Like I said, I'm just gonna give it a good little base coat. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not a painter, y'all. I just, you know, whatever I do gets all over me and all over whatever I'm painting. Okay. And while you're doing it, you know, take your time and uh, get it right. I was gonna get my hair dryer out, and yes, I, get, I need to get a heat gun, y'all. Real bad, I need a heat gun. 
Okay. There's that. The base is already kind of white, so I'm just going to go ahead and get a little coat of it on the base part on all of them. It's kind of like a primer, I guess you'd say. All right. I'm just going to lay this to the side. That is the off-white in satin. Okay. Now I'm going to paint the top. And I first chose this um, moss green color. Oh, there come a bunch of it out. Um, just because it's real natural. So you might want to go bold with yours. If you do, that's okay. I just like since it's kind of an all natural wreath, the all the green colors it kind of goes in with the outdoors. And I like this color green. What color is it? It is um it doesn't say acrylic paint, pintura plaid. Hmm, I guess we're supposed to know what color it is, but we don't. Okay, so we're just gonna paint these. I'm being a little neater on the top than I was the birdhouse. Okay. And then just run it along the edge right here. Okay. Like I said, if you're a painter, this is probably right up your alley Otherwise, you're just like me. But it can be done, y'all, so don't be afraid to paint. Even though you don't feel like a painter. Okay, I'm going to run this underneath here, too, because you can kind of see the underneath. And look, I've got some green on the white. I'm just going to cover it up. All right. Turn it upside down. You can see me shaking, y'all. I shake a lot. So, that's neurological problems. All right. Let's turn it around and get the underside now. Kind of be careful not to get it on the white, but get it covered. Now, take some of your white, your white brush, and let's just run it across the top wrong brush okay just run it across the top all you're doing is just making it look kind of weathered all right now we're going to finish this other one i'm going to do the same thing except it has two layers so i think i'm going to cover the bottom layer one color and change up the color for the other side okay really careful get those edges Run your paintbrush right down the edge, right where it's raw wood. You just are trying to cover up the raw wood. These are so cute, and they're just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. If you haven't ever shopped at multiple Dollar Trees, you should. You should really do that because... Um, Every Dollar Tree has different stuff, and you would be so surprised. Okay, I'm going to run this underneath there now. Whoop. Now I'll have to patch that. Okay. Run this. Right there. Under there. And right there. You just want all the natural wood to be covered. Okay. Now I've got a lot of white on that. I'm going to have to pour some more green. I don't know if this is considered a moss green or not. It's a little lighter than a moss green. Okay, this has some white in it. So we won't have to distress it. It was already distressed. Now, what color do we want to paint the top of the birdhouse? I'm thinking a real pretty purple. Why not? Look. This is how I paint. So, don't be afraid to paint. It'll come off eventually. 
All right, here we go. It's not coming out. I've got to wait on it. It's like a ketchup bottle. You just have to keep waiting on it. Shake, shake, shake. Um, I don't know. This probably came from the Dollar Tree, too. You don't need very much of it because it is um, really just going to go on the top, okay? And it'll be pretty. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use some purple flowers, so maybe this will work out. I didn't even plan that, y'all. Okay. So let's paint the top. Kind of have to be uh, steady on this, or you're going to get it all over everything. Okay, so take your time and paint the top. All right, what have y'all done today? What have you done for crafting today? Anybody done any crafting today? Okay, there we go. That purple is so pretty, and it does remind me of Easter, but um, even though Easter's gone, it's still April, so we can still use purple. What colors would you have used on here? What's your favorite color? Can't see the comment, so um, I'll come back and read them, but y'all tell me what your favorite color is, okay? Purple, yellow. I'm just kind of dry brushing this right here. Okay. Got to get the top, the front. Okay. There. What I would like to do is just get some black paint and run it right through there. Um, but I would need to do it while it's uh, while it's dry because it'll you know get everywhere. So that would make it look like that it is a true little hole there for a bird. Okay, I'm just gonna go back and go over this one more time. It it is you know, um, raw wood, so it does soak up everything. Okay, there you go. All right. So make sure you get that right there on the front. I did put down paper. Did y'all notice I'm protecting my mat? Which is what you need to do. This one looks a little sloppier. But I think we're going to use it anyway, just because um, my purple flowers. And you can use this other one anywhere. And I'm just going to get some of that green off of there. All right, so now what we're going to do, with the, do you remember me telling you that we have a napkin? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this napkin and pull it apart. It's got two layers, and sometimes it has more than that. Just throw that other layer away, and uh, get your scissors out, and um, like cut this flower out. We'll get a Mod Podge it on there. Um, if you are an artist and you can paint these flowers on there, more power to you. But I'm not. I have to do other things, and so I'm going to do this flower. Doesn't have to be perfect because when you Mod Podge it on, it shows, um, it'll cover it up. So I've got that pink flower. Look, they have this real pretty bird. Um, so I'm going to cut it out too. And it, it's bluish purple, so to kind of go with everything. So sometimes when you go to the dollar store and you see napkins like this, even though you're not going to use them right then for having company over or whatever, Go ahead and pick you up some because um, you never know when you'll go back. I've had these for a couple of years probably. Right. I'm going to set that aside. Get my Mod Podge over here. Oh, no. All right. Let's see how strong I am. There it goes. All right. So 
the, the paint is kind of wet so normally if the paint was dry you would just go ahead and put Mod Podge down but since it is wet I'm just going to go ahead and put this bird on here like this okay there you go and then I'm going to Mod Podge over it all right Mod Podge is great for anything and everything y'all okay just go ahead and Mod Podge I'm going to podge it right on there. Okay. And, oh, my flower, my flower, it's going away. All right. So I'm going to just put the flower over here. Put my podge on it. And I'm going to cut out another flower. Let's see. Maybe a purple flower, a small, oh, there's a butterfly. Let's see if I can get that on there. The, let's see if we can get the flower and the butterfly on that side, okay? There we go. It's an, it, it tears really easy because we've taken that layer off, okay? Let's see if we can get it on here. There you go. There we go. Yep, it went right on there. Okay, so now instead of painting it, you can see I just did the Mod Podge. And it'll dry, and it'll dry clear. Okay? All right? I got Mod Podge all over everywhere. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to throw that away. I'm going to use that napkin to wipe my fingers on now. I still have another one that we can use it on the other one if we want to. Unfortunately, this wreath is only big enough for one birdhouse. And it's barely big enough for that. So, yeah. All right, let's get this paint out of the way. While that paint dries, I'm just going to set it over here. Set these brushes over here so we don't get it on anything. Alright. But 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 me and get it on everything but me. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna clear all this spot off. Let that get to be drying a little bit. And what I need to do is I need to find a way to mount this birdhouse. And like I said, I, I really would like to use this one today, but I've already got that one done. But you can do it with this one because it has that little perch on there. I'm just going to let it dry. All right. So you can kind of get an idea of what, what it's going to look like. See, I didn't put anything on the back because you won't see the back. Okay. So we're going to have to attach it to here. And I got some Chanel stems. And I'm going to try to use these... Um, these are cable mount holders, and you just peel off sticky on the back, and you just put it on there. It'd be really good if you could secure it with glue or something, but smash it real hard. Okay. And it's really hard to work with this because it's so wet, but we're going to try. All right. I think one will be plenty. We're just going to put it on here like this. And I think I'm going to let it dry, but here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to put it on here like that, and we're going to add some greenery. So let's go ahead and do this while the birdhouse dries, okay? There is a fern and maybe a boxwood. These came from the Dollar Tree, so um, they are plastic. But that's okay, because it'll go good with this wreath. And you can use this wreath outdoors that way. Maybe put it um, on your shed or someplace like that to where it's, you don't want to put it on your door, but you want to display it maybe outside on your back door, on your back patio or back porch. This will be really good because it'll be weatherproof. Okay. 
where's my handy dandy wire cutters? Here they are. Okay. I'm just going to cut some off. Or both. Kind of mix it. All right. So this will be real easy because this, this just kind of goes right down in there. But we're going to go ahead and glue it in. It's coming out. So let's cut some of it off. Okay. And let's glue it. You can also use your glue pot with this. I'm, I'm going to bring up this. I saw some people do this and they just did one side of it. But for me, I like things equal. So I'm going to just be working on both sides of the birdhouse. Okay. You just want to make it about. Okay. Can you see? All right. Let's see. Just mix it on up and around. Glue it. Glue it in. So you don't have to worry about it coming out in the wind and all that stuff. Poke it in there. All right. I'm just going to kind of make it go up the side right here. Okay. There you go. And remember, just to go to your Dollar Tree and pick up this stuff, just so you can have some on hand. Okay. All right. So far... Okay, I'm going to use some of this boxwood. I call it a boxwood. I don't know if it is different, but that's what it is to me. All right, let's see. We're just going to mix these greens. Okay, just work your way up the wreath. And around, okay. And I love this type of wreath because it's it's pretty loose, and you can just pull that right in there like that, and make sure it's not coming out on the back. Okay, you can kind of see now why I painted the bottom green. I just wanted it to be natural. Okay. think I need to tell my husband to turn on the air conditioner because it is hot back here. All right. I hear him. He's doing his laundry, so I won't disturb him. Any guy that does his laundry is really good. Just let him be. Okay? Right? Just let him be. You can let him watch the TV and do laundry while I'm back here playing with my crafts. All right, see that? Okay, just like I said, just work them on the inside. Now let's start putting some of these purple flowers in. I'm gonna cut the stem long because I don't know. I think I'm gonna make them short, but I'm gonna use them all. I think. Look, that one had one missing. I hate it when that happens. You just feel like you got ripped off. Okay. So, I'm just going to shove that right up there, that little leaf. Just shove it right up there, okay? And then kind of get your placement where you want it. Cut a little off. Okay? Okay. Now it's starting to kind of look more realistic. Okay, let's see how that side is. Okay, looks like it's just kind of growing wild. That's what you want. Okay, push that leaf up. Cut it off. 
hot glue Ooh, is a girl's best friend. All right. Gonna work that in. Got some on my finger. That's never fun when you get it on your finger. Okay, y'all. So, what do y'all think so far? Would you do this? I'll tell you. We'll, we'll figure out how much it costs here in a minute, okay? While that glue's wet, get it down in there. Okay. Let's think about this, y'all. So we got the wreath was a dollar. The dollar the birdhouse was a dollar. The purple flowers was a dollar. The greens is a dollar. If I use two of them, it'd be five dollars. And then the bow and some moss. So we'll see. All right. I really needed that other. I needed that other flower that's not on here. I have some more up there. Okay. I may just use these. Okay. Oh, it's hot in here. Are you done? No, it's hot. I'm telling you, it's hot. Oh. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm just telling you, it's hot. Are you still alive? Yes, I'm alive. We're building a wreath. I'm just going to take Murphy for a walk. Okay. He's going to take our baby for a walk. All right, so I need one more flower. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I bought plenty of these, y'all. When I go in and I see all these pretty flowers, I just feel like, I'm like, oh boy, I gotta, I gotta get this, 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 and this. I'm gonna be able to use this, this, and this. And my head just starts going crazy. And that one just went in real light. Okay, now here's what we have. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and see about putting the birdhouse on. I think it's dry enough. It's not, if I were you and I did this, I would let it dry and then I would get some clear um, shellac or um, clear gloss and I would spray this all over. Okay, this is tricky. Okay, so now we just want to kind of get it right here in the middle. And we want to, and you can use a, probably a green, pull it as tight as you can get it. Probably a green Chanel stem would be better than the one I just used. Okay. But we got to figure out a way to get it on there. All right. So now I feel like I need to fill all this in. All right. So. I've got a little bit more greenery, and I'm going to go ahead and use both of those greeneries. So we're going to have a about six dollars in it, probably. Okay, pull that in there. Make sure it don't stick out on the other side, and glue it. Okay. Work your way towards the birdhouse. Get it up there. Okay. Now. Okay, now we're going to get some of this green Spanish moss. Royal moss. I'm not for sure if it's Spanish or not. And I'm just going to pull some out. Did y'all know that you could wet this? If you wet it, sometimes it makes it um, better to hold and better to adhere. Um, but I'm just going to put some glue right here on the on the wreath form, and then I'm just going to put some of this moss right there on it. Okay. Same thing on this side. On the other side, I'm just going to get a big blob of glue. Get that moss on there. Oh, it's strong, y'all. Okay. And right here where I need to cover all this up, I'm going to put some more just glue right where I cover up that Chanel stem. So that it wouldn't really matter as long as you cover it up what color you use, I guess. Okay. All right, and just, it's all over my fingers, but we're just gonna get some more glue and just keep putting it on there. 
okay now you can kind of see why I painted it green half I painted it half green that way if, if it does show through it, it doesn't really show um, tan the color the straw All right you have to kind of glob that glue in there to get it to stay now we got it all around there you could put it in the back if you want to one thing i think i see how the birdhouse is falling forward um you're gonna have to glue it so i'm gonna, just gonna put some glue back here okay under the birdhouse all right now I'm going to just take a little bit of um, glue, just a tad bit, and I'm going to put a little bit of moss on top of the birdhouse. Not too much. I don't want to cover up the pretty purple. have this little butterfly that also came from the Dollar Tree and um, it just it just has a little foam piece it's kind of a 3d you can see how it's a 3d and I'm just gonna put some glue on it and stick it on there right here let's put it right under those flowers okay while all that's drying, I'm going to build a little bow. And I got these two colors out for a bow. I got a little sheer um, purple, and I got a little Swiss polka dot purple. And I was just going to use one of them, but I think I'm going to try to use them both. I'm just going to grab my bow maker, my easy bow maker. And just make a little tiny bow for the top. Okay. I don't think I'm just going to make this one a little over three inches on the loop here. Okay. A little over three inches. I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty. All right. Oh, he's taking the dog for a walk. The vet said that my dog is overweight. Well, he is, but I don't want nobody telling me that. Bless his heart. He's so sweet. Okay. So we made those about three and a half. I'm going to make these about three. Okay. And you don't want the bow to be too elaborate because this wreath is very simple. Okay. So we're just going to keep it just like that right there. a good pair of scissors now um, purple tan let me see what else I have oh, look what I do have I have a purple all right so purple will be better than tan all right so I'll just pull that up and you don't even have to worry about holding it very much because it's so little, the bow. But even though the bow's little, it'll have a big impact because it's purple. Okay? Just pull that tight. Pull your little bow tails down here. Let's get them straight. I'm going to dovetail these. You don't have to. You can just turn, put a little slant in there. It would be fine. But I'm going to go ahead and dovetail these. One side's a little short, but it won't matter. Okay. You can fix it like you want. Like this one's a little long, so I'm going to cut it off a little bit shorter. Let's get it equal on both sides, you know, how I feel about it. Okay. Now look how pretty this is going to make that, y'all. Just 
just get it where you want it. Pull it pretty tight. And then adjust it like you want it right here. Pull those tails down. You don't want them sticking up. Just pull them down. Open this up. Open the bows, the bow part up. You don't want it squished down too far, okay? And just pull it up. Just like we would a regular bow. And we'll cut this off. So it's not sticking out. Or you could leave it on there and make a loop to hold it. I think I'll just do that. I'm just going to make a little loop out of the Chanel stems. That way, when you get ready to hang it up, it's on there just like this. Okay. Now, look what we did today. Okay. We made a Dollar Tree outdoor wreath. Tell me what you think. It's just plain and simple. It costs less than $10 to make. And, um... It'd be just cute outdoors on your uh, back porch or hanging somewhere other than your front door. You can hang it on your front door by all means, yes. But um, my wreaths that I hang on my front door are great big. And uh, this is kind of a, on the smaller side. So, yeah, just work on getting that glued down, your, your birdhouse. And remember, we did two, so you can do another one now. I have um, ideas for this one too, but we'll come back and do that one another day. Hey, y'all, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great Sunday afternoon, and I hope you have a great week this week. Um, I'll try to pop in on Wednesday, and we'll do another week. Okay, see you guys.